July 29, at around 8.40 a.m., Azerbaijani army units opened fire at the Armenian positions in the Gerar Kunik section of the border, the Armenian Minister of Defense said in a statement. It added that after the actions of the Armenian military, the enemy's fire was silenced and one Armenian serviceman was wounded. Azerbaijan is regularly taking actions to discredit the opening of regional communications, acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said at today's government meeting. He also said that the Azerbaijani troops not only continue to remain illegally in the Republic of Armenia, but also carry out provocative actions trying to discredit the Collective Security Treaty Organization. In a statement posted on the organization's website, the CSTO secretary, Stanislav Zas, expressed concern over the escalation of the situation on the Armenian-Azerbaijani border, calling the use of force unacceptable. He said only political and diplomatic methods should be used to resolve conflicts. In his today's tweet, Georgi Gogia, the director of the Human Rights Watch's Europe and Central Asia Division, condemned Azerbaijan's handling of Armenian captives. Citing the Third Geneva Convention, Gogia said that captive soldiers should be given the status of prisoners of war and should be returned after the end of military operations. In a letter to the UN Secretary General and the President of the UN Economic and Social Council, Armenia's permanent representative in the United Nations, Maher Markarian, said Azerbaijan is once again manipulating the process of submitting a report within the UN in order to spread misinformation about the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, while that country continues practices to divert the attention of the international community from Azerbaijan's criminal activities. The Baku Court of Grave Crime sentenced today 13 Armenian prisoners of war from Shirak province to six year years in prison each. They were charged with illegal crossing of the border and illegal accusation of weapons. The U.S. House of Representatives has approved an amendment introduced by Congressman Pallone that would suspend U.S. military financial assistance to Azerbaijan, Voice of America reported. At its meeting today, the Armenian government approved the health minister's proposal to allocate 3.4 billion drums for buying Sinopharm and Pfizer vaccines. 233 new COVID-19 cases were confirmed in Armenia on Wednesday. 10 people died.